タタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタ This is the 11th episode. According to IMDb, we have four more episodes to go. So far. Hopefully so, they extend it. Uh, I, they've been signed on for season two, so we're good. I know, but 15 episodes in one season? Yeah, not it's enough. It's too short, man. Yeah, even for Star Trek. There's gotta be a standard, man. Yeah. Know? There's gotta be 20-ish episodes. Definitely, man. Definitely. And listen, this is gonna be... With spoilers, this is gonna be an all all around Star Trek uh, podcast too. So we're gonna talk about other Star Trek series. Star we're gonna Trek tie movies. in. We're gonna do stuff. So yeah. Yeah. So if you never watched Star Trek or you're one of those persons who doesn't like Star Trek, you want to know more about Star Trek, you can watch this. And if you're a Trekkie, you probably know more stuff than we do, anyway. So you know. Yeah, you can watch too. Maybe we're interesting. Who knows? Uh, but listen, if you're not all that interested, this may not in Star Trek. This may not be an ep a show for you if you are but you don't want to watch it listen we this is an episode for you and if you're one of those people who wants to watch it just doesn't have time and you don't want to be spoiled listen we've seen a lot of star trek okay but even we don't remember all the stuff that's happened so far like we binged voyager last year we i've seen a lot of star trek in the last few months and i still forgot and don't remember all the stuff that i've seen so sometimes it's good to like even if we spoil something that's happening down the road that you're gonna watch trust me by the time you get to it you're, you're probably, probably gonna forget. forget it yeah so i think you're good and uh listen i did something for this episode that i've never done before he prepped least, i prepped man i prepped so good man this episode's gonna rock okay i don't know how long it's gonna be i did not prep so i'm winging it hey dude listen uh you can you can read from my notes over here okay like Because we, we got a few things wrong in the last episode, uh, we disagreed on one thing and it became clear in this later on. Exactly I rewatched I rewatched it, I rewatched it and it became clear what happened and I think I was right. So That's the thing about TV shows, you know? Just yeah, so listen. The next episodes bring something new. So to recap, uh, listen, if you haven't seen the episode, basically the crew of USS uh, Discovery basically went to an alternate universe where mirror every, universe it's called mirror universe for a good reason and it's a universe that's been around for a lo since uh, the original series too so they mentioned the USS they came into this universe and they saw that USS Defiant was here and in regards to USS Defiant and it's a constitution class vessel which pretty much means it's been built in uh, Captain Kirk era in the original series and we went back and we watched that episode where uh, Captain Kirk actually responds to a distress call from, from the USS Defiant, yeah USS Defiant only to show up and see Defiant isn't there Well, it was there, it turns it out, there. yeah, it wasn't, but it was, and turns out it's been stuck between this parallel, between time and space continuum, and it, uh, and Captain Kirk went on it, and once the ship disappeared, he disappeared with it too, but it turns out the ship disappeared into a whole different sp space-time continuum, while Captain Kirk stayed in his space-time continuum. And the crew was able to save him before he disappeared completely into the unknown or into non-existence yeah. or whatever else. They happened. held a funeral too. It was a touchy yeah. funeral. And so Scotty didn't cry, but you know. <coughs> Listen. And uh, in regards to that, uh, let's. Uh, the way I've written my notes, they don't necessarily tie into what we just said, but I'm gonna go and try to. So much for prepping. Hey, dude, I, there are just some things that I didn't prep for. So, listen, USS Defiant uh, apparently first disappeared in 100 years before Kirk entered the scene, pretty much. Okay, before Kirk. We've, uh, turns out, USS Defiant, pretty much, when he disappeared from Kirk's era, it went back in time into Captain Archer's era which is 100 years before Captain Kirk and the event that tied them together is the name of the Captain Kirk episode Tholian Web which is 
Tholians are these aliens, uh, alien species uh, that have this weapon that is pretty much based on energy and they need more ships in order to like one ship can't do this they need yeah. at least two ships in order to create this web of energy you basically trap a ship inside and Bob's your uncle yeah pretty much and the uh, USS Defiant disappeared 100 years before and that's and we went back and we, we watched that episode well it's two episodes actually and yeah. they're all both based in mirror universe yep yeah. Not in our universe. So, USS Defiant not only go, went back in time to Captain Archer's era, it went back into a mirror dimension. So, mirror universe. It, it completely went out of this universe into another and it went also 100 years prior. So, listen, uh, according to, uh, I'm not going to say IMDB, but to Wikipedia, Star Trek, one of the Star Trek uh, wikis, there's 113 years between Mirror Archer and the USS defines uh, events in Captain Kirk era. So that's that. And listen, in regards to Mirror Universe, it was first discovered officially in Captain Kirk's era and not just because some counterparts look the same, they're not necessarily the same person, it's a different person. Yeah, so, it's a mirror universe, so people do not act the same, they don't... And one of the things we got wrong was uh, Kirk wasn't the only one who went to mirror universe, it was Uhura, McCoy and Scotty, who exchanged, they pretty much exchanged places during that transport accident with each other, and uh, yeah, um, fortunately for our crew, Spark was smart and saw immediately because, you know, as oh, they yeah, said in the episode, it. you can't expect a barbarian to act civilized, but you can uh, expect from a civilized person to act like a barbarian because a civilized person knows how to act a barbar barbarian. Like, a barbarian who's never been civilized, <laughs> I mean, he'll, he'll you be... You get the point. Yeah. So, they were trapped in the brig until, you know, Captain Kirk, the original Captain Kirk was able to, you know, pretty much save the day. Kirk okay, came the episode. Uh, no, it was only one because, uh, listen, the mirror universe in Captain Kirk's era was in only one episode. Because the USS Defiant's candle, so the incident, so to speak, well, incident, yeah, incident takes place, it can kind of be confusing, I guess, because it didn't go necessarily to... Because the Defiant episode wasn't the mirror universe episode. It was, no, no. But because it's tied to the mirror universe, it's easy to you yeah, know yeah. lose your lose the track of it. So yeah, uh, in the mirror universe, uh, Terran Empire uh, is pretty much rules the whole universe with Iron Fist. I speculated in the la our last episode that which uh, that maybe they weren't necessarily ruling the entire universe but then later on as we rewatched and realized they actually were they pretty much wherever they were went they conquered which Destroyed. is basically what uh, what Terran universe the mirror one universe. of their prime directive was you know if you don't comply we'll blow you up pretty much and standard stuff you know yeah and listen uh, I also got wrong that the uh, mirror Spock was the emperor in the mirror universe and I confused that because I also play Star Trek Timelines, in which uh, game Spock, Mirror Spock is the Emperor of the Mirror Universe. Uh, in this universe, there you go, people. Video games and the TV shows not saying. Listen, that game don't let that game confuse it because it pretty much mixes everything we know about Star Trek and just blends it all together, so you can play with any character yeah. and pretty much any ship. I prefer hockey, Paris. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> I don't play. And listen, um, before Kirk went back to his universe, from your universe, he basically warned Spock that, listen, um, he reasoned with Spock that there was a way to change things around yeah. because this kind of uh, leading of an empire can't hold out for much longer. And uh, Spock, Spock saw, heeded his... Uh, the instructions, warnings, call it what you will, and uh, try to change things around. And then he actually changed things around. We'll get to that later, though. Okay. Which leads us to the to Deep Space Nine mirror 
universe. Episode. Well, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. We'll get to stuff that. Stuff happens. Yeah, stuff happens in the, today's episode of Discovery that actually ties into Deep Space Nine. So, listen. Um, I, I guess correctly though who the emperor is now. Yeah, well, that was. I think the, we can get to yeah. that later on. But yeah, I'm looking. Yeah, at we my found notes. out who the emperor is. And we so speculated here's the thing about correctly. prepping is now he has to read stuff because <laughs> everything's mismatched. You know, it's not mismatched. It just has an order to things. So which isn't chronological. It is actually it is in a way. So listen. Not in the way we're speaking though. Listen, I, some things are planned. We usually wing these stuff anyways. So. I wing it anyways. You prepped. I didn't. Well, I had to keep things in perspective, so to speak, so as to not lose my way. Listen, when USS Define well, you went seem back, lost. Listen, when USS Define went back in time and switched universe, we find out that uh, the mirror to Paul. Uh, listen, it's Star Trek. Enterprises that show that went only for four seasons, uh, yep. which is we saw Scott Bakula starting as Captain Archer, which is the first captain of USS Enterprise. Actually, yeah. like it is the first USS Enterprise that went into space. And the the opening of that show, uh, those two episodes actually shows the rise and fall of mirror of uh, Terran Empire. Well, the rise of Terran Empire, not the fall, but... It well, shows the fall of an emperor. That's true. And well, uh, yeah, and I, I, I just thought the opening intro was interesting because it shows you how, you know... Basically, when the first contact happened, what would have happened? And not just that, that was that was just the opening scene. I'm just talking about the intro. It shows oh, yeah. you like Terran Empire going into space, the you know, and stuff like you saw instead of the US flag on the moon, it's Terran Empire flag on the moon. So I thought all those stuff was interesting, okay? So they did. Because they changed it up, they took a step from whatever they were doing with the rest of the episodes and they basically gave you two episodes that were happening in the mirror universe yeah and because of the stuff that happens in the mirror universe we talked about Tholi Tholians before basically Tholians somehow got their hands on the Defiant not, not, not them, we don't exactly know who got their hands on the Defiant because the Defiant but was they there were in the surrounded by, yeah, but they, they, territory yeah but yeah but Tholians came later. We don't necessarily know that Tholians were there from the moment the Defiant appeared. But basically, to me, what was interesting is that it appeared with the whole station around it. Because there was no station in the Kirk's universe. So, like... No, no, I think they put it in the station of the... Whatever was there? Yeah. It's possible. I think they had... Or they built something in there to stash it. Possible. So they could research it. I don't think the Defiant showed up with the moon around it. Yeah, and speaking of Captain Archer, dude, is like we have so many captains. You know, to me, I is like, I know people have their favorites. Like, I know people who love Kirk, they love Kirk. You know, people who love Picard, they love Picard. People like us, like Janeway, we love Janeway. You know, but to me, like, I love them all. But it's like, if I had to choose my favorite, I think Archer and Janeway would be on my top one. Like, they would share that spot definitely, man. So. Archer, baby, Archer. Yeah, and listen, um, he has his crew. We have, uh, we have, so we have <coughs> Lieutenant Mayweather, who's a helmsman. We have, uh, I, ha I have no idea what his rank is. Commander, I guess, or a lieutenant commander. Tucker. Uh, Tucker, who is the chief engineer. And we also have Reed. Uh, who is uh, chief security officer and also touch your fingers? Yeah, and also a tactical officer, and we have a first officer slash science officer, uh, Tapal, who's a Vulcan, and she was uh, the first uh, Vulcan science officer on any Earth vessel, so to speak, not Federation, but. Earth, Earth, Earth wrestle. So she was, uh, well, she wasn't the first one actually. Like she was the first one to actually make it past two weeks. Okay, there was one, someone before her who was there for two weeks and I don't know if there were any before that person because apparently the uh, Vulcan uh, 
uh, smelling uh, sensitivity is very acute so for some reason we stink to Vulcans and for whatever reason and it's hard just for Vulcans feet, to be around us feet. is very hard okay probably it's very feet. hard <coughs> and to spend time gives you a whole new appreciation for Tuvok and yeah and Tapal made it like for in entirety of that like four seasons man like she was there to, she was even captain at one point so when Archer was you know sick in bed and just indisposed otherwise pretty indisposed. much pretty much and so Tapal is just she's also this character that uh, as you can see we do a lot of wandering around yeah we'll pose. we'll get to the point people we'll get to the point listen to, to because to me remember Tapal, he has notes he prepped <laughs> So we wouldn't wander around because winging it wasn't satisfactory, I guess. Yeah, but we have to introduce the you know crew of the first USS Enterprise to the people. Google it. Listen, I prefer people stick around here and instead of going to Google, okay? Poor folks. <laughs> Listen, the Paul is a cool character, okay? Oh, she's she not, is. She's not just hot, but she basically she was the first. Oh, she's no seven or nine. Okay, that's the bed in and of itself, man. I'm not gonna go there, but uh, listen, she was the first Vulcan to actually be in a relationship with a human. Yeah, man, that... F uh, until then it was taboo, okay? In, until then it was still taboo while they were doing it. Yeah, but when Pafar comes along every seven years, you know, you can Vulcans do. gotta do what a Vulcans gotta do, man. <laughs> I guess so, man. I think Tuvok was in the uh, yeah. same situation. Yeah. I don't know, was it uh, the, the hollow deck that it was the hollow deck that yeah. solved his problem? Yeah. Well, the uh, the Paul didn't have that. Uh, there was no hollow decks back then, man. Nope, nope. Uh, you had to take we matters. Touched, we touched uh, on that the last episode. We talked about the yeah. one episode where they actually. Just she actually had to take matters into her own hands, if you would. Or Tucker had to take his that matter into his own hands and just convince the Paul that he's the guy to do it with. So yeah, you know, precisely. It's a it, dude, It's a fun relationship to watch unfold. Okay, it's so fun. It's really fun. Okay, and entertaining. So yeah. But that brings me uh, to my uh, next point because in the mirror universe things worked a little bit differently than on our prime universe okay in the mirror universe mirror to Paul basically starts the rebellion with mirror Sowal okay and he's this uh, he's this ambas Vulcan ambassador to earth where he was basically guiding uh, earthlings to space travel yeah and basically Vulcans were very involved in sending or some would say not sending uh, humans into space well they wanted to do it slowly humans just said a different idea and they wanted to speed things up yeah and they, they were at their own pace and they were doing stuff at their own pace but it wasn't at Vulcan space and watching that in Star Trek Enterprise unfold in those that first season at least going through the next three seasons is pretty fun too and the interesting to watch it's so because you never think about stuff like that so. and they were also depending a lot on Vulcan's information if you would yeah. they didn't have their own databases they used Vulcan yeah the Universal uh, Starfleet data bank wasn't uh, invented yet they were working on it they were, they were working on the translator as well so yeah we'll get to that point eventually so in the uh, mirror uh, universe to Paul and so all Basically, at the end of the second episode, they start the rebellion against the Terran Empire uh, as Vulcans. And uh, Mirror Dr. Flox, who is the chief medical officer on uh, USS Enterprise, is also the chief medical torturer in the Mirror uh, version of it. And Medicine, who knew? And uh, to, to tie into your uh, DS9, Deep Space Nine... Uh, Prediction uh, before she dies, the Paul basically tells uh, the Terran will one day pay for their behavior. So, yeah, 
Which leads us back to what exactly happened on DS9. Uh, we'll get to that eventually because... Oh, we're not there yet in the notes. As you said, dude, you, you mentioned uh, Officer Lieutenant, I think she was, or Ensign uh, Sato, yep. who is the communications officer on uh, Captain Archer's Enterprise both in the Prime and Mirror Universe yep. and basically at the end of the episode just when you think because I watched this episode once and this is my second time watching I thought Mirror Archer could be the Emperor later on because he strives for it but in the end of the episode Sato kills him and proclaims herself Emperor Sato All I called the, it yeah you did right and you never watched that episode before so yeah uh, when you know you know you know? And that leads us to the speculation as uh, who might be the Emperor in the current iteration of Star Trek Mirror Universe, which is the exact same opposite of the USS Discovery Universe, because times go by and, and I called it again. The, you call, you said Michel, Michel Yeo, uh, aka Captain Georgia, will be the uh, Empress. And Empress, she is. Yeah, and she is, yeah. It only remains, you know, to be discovered whether or not she is the descendant of Emperor Sato or not, okay? I think that might be possible. Definitely. But I would not be surprised. I wouldn't be either, man. I would not be surprised, but hey, that's another story for another time, Definitely. for another episode. Yeah. Uh, I also speculated in my show notes before we watched last night's episode that we may not even encounter an Emperor in this universe. We mentioned that the last episode. We were mistaken. Definitely, because I mean, I think we, I think we would have seen it because that's where um, uh, Michael Bar uh, Burnham was going anywhere. So it was like, oh yeah, he she, was gonna She end needs up. to reclaim. I mean, basically in this name, episode, his name. she has the whole. In the Prime Universe, the Federation is fi currently fighting the Klingons. In the Mirror Universe. Klingons. Rebell uh, the the Paul's Rebellion uh, is in full fling. Yeah, uh, even and basically all the other races are working together. And uh, to Michael to kind of figures out, well, if I can talk to their leader and figure out what banded them together, maybe when we get back to the Prime Universe, maybe I can stop this war. Yeah, and listen, uh, if you're still... Uh, listen, we talk about Michael and uh, he and she because... Michael is a woman, and um, listen, that's just what the character is, so... Yeah. Yeah. Michael's a she in this one. Yep, yeah, definitely. And, yeah, uh, this brings me to the pretty much the end of my sh show notes, almost. Uh, listen, 24th century Mirror Universe is very different from its prime counterpart. Making 22nd century Mirror to Paul's words true, and, yeah, uh... That's it. Uh, I forget one of my show notes simply says that the... Uh, we didn't go through all those, did we? No, no, Thank not God. all of them. Uh, actually, we did, even though you don't know about it, so, yeah. Well, I don't know. It's, I prefer winging it, you know. Yeah, uh, there's a character that makes an appearance in last night's episode called Sarek, which is basically... Uh, Bur Michael Burnham's uh, stepfather, so to speak, and he makes appearance in um, the Star Trek The Next Generation, and he is also Spock's father. Yes. So I thought I thought that was interesting too. So I mean, they, I, we knew that already. Yeah, we before. knew. Well, yeah. And speaking of the current iteration of the USS Discovery, listen. Um, we're in part of this story where they're lost in the terror in the mirror universe and they're trying to figure out a way back and the only way they can do it is the way same way they came in uh, with spore drive and unfortunately right now spore drive is pretty much broken and unuseful well they're working on it yeah it might not be but while that is happening they're uh, researching the other venues mostly the before mentioned the USS Discovery. Defined. Defined, sorry. They're trying to figure out how exactly it got into this mirror universe and maybe they can use the same way to get out. Yeah, and uh, as we said before, it was because of Tholian Web, so I'm not sure how they're gonna get, 
how we're gonna get to that but I think uh, this poor drive is the key here because at the end of the episode well here's the what's thing his name uh, yeah. the chief engineer of this USS Discovery Scary comes around yeah made a contact with uh, his counterpart I would guess uh, in the, the well here's the thing what you said so the last time was the Minastic around Mary Universe that long which I kinda said that I hope they did yeah. And by the looks of it, you might get actually a couple of more episodes of the Looks Marinos. like we're going to go into And it might actually episodes, happen yeah. that uh, they don't escape at all till the season finale. Do you know why I didn't think about that, man? I think... Because if we got four episodes left, they might stretch this out. You know what? I think... We might get the Mirror Universe I... until the season finale and then they might come back. I don't think they keep them past season one. I think six episodes. I'm not sure they're keeping in in the okay, Mario universe uh, all the time, in, but it in, in, might be prolonged. Listen, in Deep Space Nine, we got like five or six episodes uh, with the yeah, Mario universe. Yeah, but they didn't happen. Yeah, it was like there was there were gaps, like yeah, sometimes even years yeah. between them. You so maybe got like one I, a season. Because I was gonna say this is the longest time we've been in the Mirror Universe. So far, but like so in far, one no, stretch of a The thing is, in, the, in Deep Space Nine, <coughs> they knew how to react when people from the Prime Universe got to the Mirror Universe. Here, they don't. Nobody even knows. And they, they came from the Prime Universe. And they shouldn't, because nobody should know. Oh yeah, this uh, point because they Kirk was the first one to cross over, and they said in Deep Space Nine. Well, this Nine, happened before. Exactly, and that's, so, that's why everything has to be, you know, pretty subtle and very, very much undercover. Without okay. people knowing, exactly. And the only people who may know is Sarek, because he read uh, Michael Burnham's mind, so, like, he mind meddled with her. And but he, I don't think he figured out... I think he did, he just didn't want to say well, that's what he saw, know, because Vulcans, there was... There was very no, logical. Yeah. So, there, there was no need for him yeah, to talk about all that. Yeah, he might figure it out. So yeah, he probably I think he... He's a smart dude, okay? Like, I mean, he probably figured it out, so... Well, you know, Spock it, had to get it from somewhere. Well, yeah, definitely, man. And, uh, listen, uh, that brings us to the rebellion in this episode, because in this episode, Michael Burnham is supposed to destroy the planet, and some rebels, leader of the rebels, actually, who's known as Firewolf, and instead she goes down like there... Like we said, she goes down there to figure out... What's happening. And How on earth did they band together and in hopes that when they do come back to the Prime Universe she can use that information to stop the Federation slash Klingon war that's yeah. happening. And which she actually started depending which on she's who blamed for starting. Uh, and you know, word of mouth and press is just, you know, it's, it's not so non-reliable, you yeah, know. Yeah, but listen, stuff in sp space works a little bit differently than it does on current Earth. So, and I mean our Earth, not the uh, 23rd century Earth. And when she beams down there with her bodyguard, in this case, uh, Tyler, um, we discovered that the leader of the rebellion is one of the other characters uh, which I Force actually of held that position in the prime in universe the prime as well. Universe. Not of the rebellion, but of the. I still Klingon. holds it. Yeah. Still holds it. He's not dead yet. And uh, as uh, he's Tyler, actually. Yeah, he. Yeah, say he's yeah. Tyler. Yeah, he's Tyler. But Wok, uh, the Klingon uh, Wok, uh, son of Nun, is the leader of the rebellion, and he has a face to face with Michael Brenna and. He basically brings Sarah Kim to confirm that what she's saying is true because he needs to be absolutely safe. Because uh, Vulcan Mind Meld is the only way to find... It's the ultimate lie detector, okay? It's oh, like yeah. you can't lie. Like, whatever is in your thoughts, they'll discover it, so... Vulcan, man, Vulcan. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that encounter was pretty cool because they actually had an encounter before because she killed Akuma in front of his uh, in front of Wok's eyes and then Wok decided to take matters into his own hands because war was already started thanks to Takuma who initiated the whole thing pretty much and yeah listen 
just the fact that they met in that manner to me that was pretty cool okay like everything in this un mirror universe is so intense to me every time we see mirror universe even though star trek i know there's a happy ending at the every star trek episode you uh, this star trek discovery is a little bit different than the other star trek okay so i'm usually when i see they mirror keep universe, you in suspense yeah especially when they're gonna keep you there for an extended period of time time yeah so it's like in before every episode, like right now, like I mean, I do. Even though I know everything is gonna turn out okay eventually, well, yeah, I'm still because you already saw the other Star Treks, you saw what's happening and stuff. Yeah, yeah but it's still, you know, you know, Star Trek always finishes with the happy ending. Okay, you yeah. like sometimes you lose people along the way. Characters that everyone loves will sometimes die, and I don't think we're necessarily gonna see anyone that we love die so far. Uh, the doctor dying, I think that was a uh, fan service, uh, in my opinion. So it was about time the doctor died, because uh, he was just annoying. Okay. This is just being cold. It's too early for the. I know, uh, I know, I know. Wishful thinking, just wishful thinking. Right? It's too early for the. There's only one doc. You know what I mean? Definitely, man. Just one doc. And listen, uh, so I don't think anybody's else is gonna die okay even though I wanted to see Tyler die okay but they used him they used, used him, him to for smuggle some... secrets yeah Classified they used him for a series yeah. but I still think they could have left him to die because yeah as we discussed in last episodes yeah. uh, Vox personality was implanted into his body so it wasn't hidden underneath it so he's basically two persons and Vox prevailed his body was yeah made to fit his Klingon personality so to speak so Vok changed bodies too so which I think is a first in the Star Trek universe up to that point uh, not really. Uh, really remember Telix yeah but there was Voyager yeah, up to that I, point uh, but, oh, okay chronologically yeah chronologically speaking yes and this was purely scientific ish yeah pretty much Hey, listen, Telix was also a transporter accident, just like uh, the journey to Mirror Universe. Yeah, but they had the whole, because of this stuff, that stuff, we kind of got Telix, but this was purely, we're going to catch you up and put you in him. Yeah. Which is the first for the Star Trek Universe. Uh, yeah, as far as I know, yes, as far as I know. So, and uh, because... Are <laughs> you this expert among two of us? Well, I just know more stuff than you do, but... You watch more stuff. Listen, uh, the encounter Michael had with uh, Walk, with the Mirror Walk, sets precedent, so to speak, for the anti-Terran uh, resistance and lays ground for what happens in well, the 24th the century Mirror Universe. Emperor shows up and she kind of bombs the whole place and we still don't know if people got out. Now, technically an hour might have passed, they might have evacuated, Maybe some of them, maybe not all of them. So we still have no idea who survived out of the quote unquote the rebel leaders. True. Maybe a princess gave a certain cry for help to a certain you droid who was looking for a certain Jedi. All this talk of the rebel and the alliance I know, obviously I know, leads I know. to the obvious conclusion that, you know. Yeah, because. Somebody's trying to match the. Wars yeah. and the track, if you know what I mean. Yeah, because in the 24th century mirror universe, the resistance is basically much uh, called the Alliance later on, and it's formed between Klingons and uh, Cardassians. And, and the Jorans. Well, later on, the Jorans and few others. We don't exactly know who, but and they pretty much uh, tore down the Terran Empire, brought it down to their knees, and make. And I uh, believe it or not, it was Spock's fault. Because Spock was so ingenious in his revolutionary ideas that he basically he, stripped the Terran Empire out of any means to defend themselves once the rebel figured that out, it was game Basically over. after Kirk left, Mirror, uh, Mirror Spock basically came to some prominence in the Terran Empire. Became the Emperor. I don't think he became the Emperor. Yeah. He became the Emperor. They say it. No, they say something no, else. No, he became the emperor. 
And while Emperor, he kind of stripped the Terrans of... Yeah, he started talking about peace and yeah. disarmament. And uh, the Alliance, these rebels took the In gift and just, you know, turned the tides on the rebels. Turned the tables, the yeah. And pretty much enslaved all the Terrans. Yeah. And... Kind of paybacks a, a beach. beach. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, yeah. Sandy beach. Yeah. And... That pretty much brings the entire mirror universe, like, I don't know, full circle, I guess? I mean, we still well, have... Well, it kind of does, but we still don't know technically, because the DS9 is the latest we've seen from the... Chronologically, yes. Chronologically speak. And at the end of the last episode, the kind of Terrans, they go, humans, they go on the full-blown rebellion mode, try to get, you know, there's stuff still happening. The Indeed. mirror universe is still an open book. I think they Definitely. can do a lot of stuff there. If they decide to do any kind of time travel, I don't. I hope they don't. Same. But here. listen, we might get discovery for another, you know, eight nine seasons. I hope. Well, all the Star and Trek twenty uh, uh, fourth century series went on for seven seasons. So. So hopefully we get at least seven seasons. And who knows? Maybe after that we get another Star Trek series. Yeah. Possible. I if this so. one, listen, if they go to seven seasons, I would love if it's. Dude, if, I would if love. If fans accept it, at the end of this one, we might get a new one. I would love to see. I, and then maybe they put it at the end of the DS9, and then maybe we get to jump into Mirror Universe again, see what's happening. I would love to see Admiral Riker, Janeway, and Captain uh, Jordi LaForge. Dude, that would be so fun, it's ridiculous, man. Definitely, like, especially now they're out there in age, they could actually fit those characters pretty nicely. Yeah. And it could be... It could happen, it could happen. It could be even further down in history, because they're so old now, and people age slowly in 24th century, yeah, so the, the old medicine people. progressed a lot in four century, 400 years, okay? So, yeah, I mean, they, there's a lot of stuff that they can do, so, yeah. So there's a whole brand new world called you know Star Trek universe out there. Yeah, there's and a lot of stuff happening. You know. But let's go back to our current iteration of the Mirror Universe, man. Because listen, every time Mirror Universe is on, I just listen. I, I know it's gonna be one episode, maybe two. Uh, this one is going on into a third. I can uh, say they might stick around till the end of the season. I don't think so. I think that's too long because there, there's still stuff that they need to set up in the Prime Universe, so... They do, but they could, you know, it might go on for another two, three episodes. It's possible. Ah, uh, but I don't think so. That's what you said last time. I'm gonna keep saying this is gonna be the last, the next episode is gonna be the last, so... As far as yeah, the Universe goes. They might stick around for a few more. We'll see, man. We'll see, we'll see. I mean... It's an for, open book. For, listen, listen, I like what they're doing with it right now. Definitely. Not just the mirror universe, but stuff that's yeah, happened before. Yeah, to me, Star Trek Discovery is such a great series so far that... And like I, the previous one, they, more, they got a great mash of characters. True. And, you know... Great they, cast that's mixed They threw mixed it in a blender and yeah. the stuck out, man. Gave us some more races, so... Came out smooth, yeah. that's what I'm saying. We don't necessarily have a Vulcan on the series, even though Yet. Michael was raised by Vulcans. Yeah. Uh, but we open? have we have uh, Commander Saru, who is a uh, comes captain? from. Uh, well, he is oh, captain yeah. right now, but yeah. you know until Lorca comes back. Yeah, Lorca baby. <laughs> Unless they decide to kill him all, but I don't think they're gonna. I don't kill think they kill Lorca though. Uh, you you can't kill the captain, I man. I mean, when you get the well, captain. technically like, you can, but the way they're heading at it now, just they never, he's instrumental. Listen, they, they never killed the captain. They happened. never killed the captain before, so. In any of the series, so I, I, I mean, Archer, Mirror Archer was killed, but you know, Janeway came close to dying a few times. Uh, Cisco was, I, he was in prison a few times. I don't remember him necessarily coming to death. So uh, Captain Kirk uh, also, like, he was in a few fights himself. He got a few close calls, you know. Yeah. Yeah, but no, I don't think they killed all kind. He's a great character. They not Jason him Isaacs in yeah. the yeah. I love what they're doing with him, man. I just want more episodes. No, one of each. Yeah, definitely, man. Uh, yeah. Just ain't cutting it. Agreed. Agreed. 
so I guess that brings us to the end of the today's captain's chair uh, episode. Uh, listen, uh, we hope you had fun. Uh, we hope you enjoyed hope our you learned recap. Something. Recap because this was hope like, you stuck around because we had to go through all those mirror universe episodes. Okay, like we had to find them, we had to rewatch them. It was a fun experience. So. Listen, people, find the list of the episodes and go watch them. They're on Netflix. Everything Star Trek is on Netflix, even the animated series. Yeah, I, I still haven't gotten around to that. So maybe, maybe. I'm still debating whether or not to binge it right now or not. But, uh, yeah. Well, that's it from us. Until next time, you know, we hope you make like a Borg and assimilate. <laughs>